The castration of this little guy was actually almost like a real operation. Perhaps it is. Well, that's his male maleness. I led Kabul with Tibor and Kabul inspected the body of uh, Tibor. He noticed right away that there was something wrong. Uh, Kabul was not there when it happened, but he came afterwards. He smells exactly the place where something is wrong. He knows he smells the blood. And he went to the front, uh, to the nose of t Tibor, to smell what happens. And then back to the back, because he really has to know what is going on. To me, it's pretty important that horses choose for their own kind. I mean, I'm, I'm a human and I like it when they like me, when they're kind to me. But they need their own kind. A horse has to behave like a horse and he has to make choices. Uh, which benefit the horse itself. Here you can see some reflexes of uh, little Tibor. He's getting awake a little bit. And well, that's the, why I wanted this big Kabul to be around. I choose this, um, and perhaps some people might say, yeah, it's dangerous. It's not dangerous. They are friends and they know perfectly well what they are doing. When Tibor woke up, he was dizzy. He was. <laughs> I feel so sorry when I see him standing like this, his hair all. He's really out of. In, as if he's in a different world. Um, it's not dangerous because these guys are friends and yeah, they need each other. Um, and I think it's very important for, for horses, uh, like I said before, to be horse. Oh, it's, when I see him like that, I feel sorry. Did they notice that I felt sorry? No, they didn't. I was just around and I was just uh, part of, of this scene. And I let Tibor um, wake up. He's still uh, dizzy of, of the, the thing they gave him, so they put him to sleep. Because this stuff that's inside his body will, will stay there for eight hours. Uh, later on I, I separated them again, but I wanted Kabul to check his little friend and I wanted Tibor to be to be sure that he was not alone, that he had his horse friend with him. I think it's very sweet how they are um, being together and how Kabul is be, just being around. If you perhaps you might have seen the, the ear contact, the eyes, the you know, everything that happens. Oh, poor Tibor! Everything that happens and it makes. The recovery better. It's it's normal uh, behavior for horses. To be true, when I walked out and when I was doing this movie, uh, Tibor, oh, like this, this one, Tibor was following me as if he was was finding somebody where he could could be find some rest. Well, after the operation, it's quite a bloody uh, issue and. The next photos will be a lot of blood, so you can stop right now. I didn't know that he lost so much blood, and I actually I called the vet again um, to ask him if, if this was normal, because it sort of upset me that it was so much. And the vet uh, came back, nice man, and said, yes, it's normal, even though it might look pretty, uh, well, it might upset you. Well, it did. But what I also also think is very important with horses not to show your emotions. If you're insecure or if you doubt, a horse doesn't feel better when you say, Oh, sweetie, 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 just be there, just be his friend, just like Kabul did. Smell, do your thing and be a friend of this horse. Horses do not understand this, this uh, silly stuff like, Oh, poor horsey, poor, poor this, poor that. Oh. That it will make them insecure, and you see the pain he's having. He's shaking. This was at the end of the of the day. Horses need strength, and if you can give the strength to a horse, he will be your best friend, and he will definitely follow you, like little Tibor followed me in the stables and well did some salt. Now he's a gelding.